some people in a UK park put a sock on a swan, nearly suffocating and killing it. Luckily, rescuers found it on time and pulled it out of the poor bird. At the same time, authorities at the RSPCA also started a hunt for the culprits. The bird was found swimming with a sock pulled down its neck at Catchwater Drain in Lincoln, Lincolnshire. A staff from the Yorkshire Swan and Rescue Hospital intervened. The Lincolnshire police also got involved to catch the cruel pranksters. In a statement, PC Llewellyn, the investigating officer, said, Any type of animal cruelty will not be tolerated and we will carry out a full investigation into this incident. We work with wildlife organizations that report these incidents to us so we can investigate them. We believe the item had been placed on a swan's head intentionally, due to how snug the fit was and how far down the neck of the swan the tube was. He added, we do not believe that this was accidental. Had the swan rescue not intervened, the swan would have either starved or potentially suffocated. We would like to hear from anyone who can assist us with our investigation or anyone who may have seen anyone around the swan in the water in the days leading up to May 2nd. Inspector Kate Burris of RSPCA added, The consequence of this mindless prank could have resulted in this poor swan suffering over a long period of time and ultimately ended in their death. Given that this is the breeding and nesting season, at the moment, this could have also resulted in suffering and sadly death of any dependent offspring. We would urge anyone who has any information as to who may have done this to this poor swan to call the police. Cases of cruelty towards swans are not new. We reported a heartbreaking case where a swan who had laid six eggs at Manchester Park died of a broken heart after vandals destroyed most of her eggs before they hatched and her mate ran away. News about the tragic story came to light when a wildlife enthusiast who had been monitoring the swans wrote about it on a Facebook group. Much to the anger of other members and the public at large, the man named Michael James Mason wrote on the group that three of the six eggs were destroyed by youths and she was also harassed by dogs jumping in. Not only that, a duck and a moorhen nearby also regularly made her life miserable. The result was the loss of two more eggs. She was finally left with only one egg. Added to this, she also had to deal with her mate leaving her on her own. Mason was informed that she was found slumping in her nest dead. In another incident that was captured on video, a pair of young seagulls were seen being hit by a car, leaving behind a trail of maimed birds and piles of feather in Kent. The video from the surveillance cameras of the incident seemed to indicate the disturbing act was deliberate. The video also caused widespread anger online, with people demanding that the cruel driver be found and punished. The incident took place at a car park in Folkestone, Kent. <laughs>